Hello there, everybody! It is me, No Name Woman Seven Spore, back with Rule of the Waves 2, where we find out what happens when you can only have ships with one caliber gun on them. Uh, currently, we are playing, you know, we're playing as Great Britain. It is May of 1945, and the U.S. is blockaded. We've just gone to war, and we sent our navy over to the North American East Coast. Other ships are, um,. Finally returning to service, Indomptable Lover will stay in Northern Europe for now. Um, next turn, we will be getting most of the rest of the battle line. So it would be Leopard, Redoubtable, Resolution, Royal Sovereign, presuming they don't get delayed. Um, as well as King Alfred, uh, Hogue, Revenge, Cressy, and Argonaut. As well as the Carrier Malta will be commissioned. Um, we're three turns out from uh, getting the formidable class aircraft carriers. Um, and right now... Um, Malta's air group, or, yeah, the air groups for Malta, Arc Royal, and then two of the Formidables are currently formed and on some of the bases here. And I did actually go through and make sure to rename all the squadrons and reactivate a couple, make sure that, you know, they all have their given nicknames, and also make sure that the nicknames are recorded. Um, so, Yeah. See where squadrons were reactivated, you can see where new squadrons were created, and then we do have, like, you know, four carriers worth of squadrons on some of the land bases. Uh, yeah, I think given locations is good enough for now. Invasion range, I don't think we can hit Hawaii. Yeah, we can't hit Hawaii, and hopefully they can't hit us. Um, so these really aren't that important. What's important is sending ships to the North American East Coast to uh, stop them. We also did get Japan as an ally. Actually, I should just quickly go through all of the, um, all of the carriers and land bases so that you can see which squadrons are on which. Although, unfortunately, the nicknames aren't really showing, so, um, where's one with a nickname? Do this. Um, I might reduce the base down so you can see everything. So nothing there. I actually want to get some uh, float plane or some patrol boats over kind of our main European bases. Okay, so Port of Spain will get a uh, set of probably six flying boats. Uh, and I will be manually naming these squadrons. I do have the list of fleet air arm squadrons over here. So this would be the 885th. Um, the Control C squadron. Which on my other monitor I can real quickly active or activate at um, Porto Spain. And then. So I want to copy this air group and also paste it to um, these airfields. And this will also give me a little bit of uh, ASW value too. Oh god, that's a lot of squadrons I have to rename, I've just realized. Okay, so... Jin Jame, that would be the 886 squadron. Which, let me quickly get all of the, um... All the airfields in there. So Portsmouth. Uh, Harwick would be the next one. Uh, Grimsby. Rossith. Start with those four, because that's what I can get in before I have to start scrolling down. So, got the 886. 
887th, the uh, 888th, and then the uh, 889th. At this point, I now have to scroll down until my next block of land-based patrol bombers, which does not exist, it seems. So the good news is that I can actually use um, one of my additional fighter blocks for this. So these will be the... Um, Yeah, we'll start with the 1850th. So, on my other monitor, I just, I need to do this. I know this is going to look boring for a few moments. I'll, I'll try to keep talking here about stuff uh, as I'm doing this. And the last thing, you know, the thing I should probably be talking about right now as I'm doing this is the fact that um, despite having access to it, I have still not yet played Rule of Waves 3. And that's not a secret at this point. Like, obviously, you know, by, th by the time this video comes out, I'll have played it. Um, I think this will be my last episode of this before I play Rule of Waves 3. But that does not mean it will be my last episode of this series. Um, I'm going to try to juggle the two. And actually see if I can... I I've kind of started to fix my sleep schedule, so I'm also going to see if I can jam the... Uh, or jam some of the German live streams in there. Although I am actively considering with the German series... Uh, deciding to basically just cut my losses, get the current war done, and then retire. Um, but with this series, you know, I think it will uh, it will continue. It will continue until it is done. I I will get this series done. Um, yeah, I, I think for the. Yeah, I think for the German series, it will be the case where, you know, and end the big war and have that be the end of the series unless, like, tensions are still high. If tensions are still high, you know, play on. If tensions are low, that's it. That's the Battlecruiser series. All right, there we go. So now I can name the rest of these flying boat squadrons as I begin to activate them. And I'll also probably put that as the whole German thing in a community poll, which you will have probably already... Okay, you will probably not only have already seen it, this video is probably going to come out after it's concluded, so I am sorry about that. Um, yes, let me make a promise that is in the future for me. But, like, this video I think is releasing, like, what, May 6th, May 7th? It'll be long past, you know. Well, I guess technically, really three wouldn't be purchasable yet, so, um... Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay, so that should be all the flying boat squadrons named. Good, and then everything is active. Yes, everything is active now. It'll cost a little more, but um, I think we can. I think we can afford it. And that just gets me in a much better situation. So. I'm going to put subs on fleet support since we have them blockaded. And go to the next turn. See if we get a battle. Convoy attack off the eastern seaboard. Battle size medium. Too close. Unexpected battle in the Solomons? I get two Corvettes. Run into Tulagi. Tulagi's a port I can run into, right? 
Yeah, it should be. So that is a Seal Juno class. It's not great, but it will beat one of these things easily. Did I forget to put cross deck fire? Oh my god, it won't let me go in. I wanted to hide in Tulagi. Okay, so... We have escaped, but I think in order to effectively get out, I'm going to try to thread this needle. We're relatively lightly damaged, thank goodness. But these aren't really ships I want to be fighting a cruiser action with. So I will see about Henderson Field, maybe? No? I'm not allowed to go to- I'm not allowed to go to my ports. Alright. It's kinda lame. Probably have gone here, but yeah, it's kinda lame. It's a weird-ass battle location. Okay, um... Total point zero, that was the CL Flint. Fired a number of rounds. Um, Palm Grove took a single hit, disabling a turret and doing a tiny bit of structure damage. So, battle completely inconclusive. Malta's commission, redoubtable. Resolution, Royal Sovereign, and Lapida finished their reconstruction. Five cruisers have 1% weight savings on machinery, 1% weight savings on hull, 3 inch auto loaded dual purpose guns. Early Sam mounts. Our new torpedo bomber is in service. Damaged. Uh, we didn't damage a USPB. Neutral nations are upset. Support for our cause is growing amongst neutrals. Flexible is damaged. We sank four enemy subs and lost one. And are blockading them. I'm hoping that forces someone else into this war on my side. Um, so I'm going to wait for the CV to work up. Yeah, fighter request is in progress. Uh, Sams are a really good technology to have. Early Sams are a really, really, really good technology to have. The problem is, how do I afford to put them on anything right now? Um, like, I, I can barely afford this. You know, I can barely afford this navy. Which is a significant... I'm not even sure I can afford this navy without going down to, like, 6% research, actually. Um, so what am I building? So I've got those four subs building. That'll save some funds when they're done. Um, actually, Arc Royal completing will help. Um, these will help. I can't get these building. Yeah, I don't know what to put Sam's on. I'm going to have to be something where I rotate cruisers in and out. Um, maybe as a cruiser gets old, I'll pull it back and put a SAM on it. Because SAMs would be very beneficial. Does the US have any ships with SAMs on them? I think that's a good question right now. I don't think they do. It would be very beneficial. Um... I feel like these ships would be needing refits the most. Yeah, the Cressys are currently in Northern Europe. The King these are in Northern Europe, so, um... I think I'm gonna move Amphorite down to the Caribbean. Um... I'm gonna move one Cressy down to the Caribbean. And then the other one to the North American East Coast. I'm going to split them up. Um, I think Revenge will move to the North American East Coast. These two will move to the Caribbean. Uh, 
how many heavy cruisers will have on the North American East Coast? That'll be like five. So Leopard should move down definitely to the Caribbean. Join the Lion there. And incomparable. That'll give me my five strongest battle cruisers. Um Try and think if I want to send like a couple battleships down to the Caribbean. I think Royal Sovereign will move to the North American East Coast. Um, I'll move Resolution down to the Caribbean and then um, Redoubtable to the East Coast. They'll give me a battleship in the Caribbean. Okay, uh, Malta's still working up. We'll eventually, you know, she'll eventually need to have her aircraft put on her. Um, I think the Phoebes will be moved to the reserve fleet. So if I want to look at a cruiser to potentially rebuild, um, what about Juno? Or what about Juno? So. How much would a missile launcher cost? I put it in like the V position. Is it the same in any position? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's say I add that in V. Where do I get extra weight from? I just I don't think she has enough weight. So you're on 53. Um, Brilliant is on 17. Okay, um, what else would probably need a refit? Maybe a Latona? 129, that would legitimately be like deleting a turret. These things are overweight. Hmm. It's like a rainbow or a Melampus. A Melampus might not be bad. With a um, missile launcher in place of one of the turrets. I mean, these things still need... Still need that refit. So I'm going to get rid of maybe the W. And then add a missile launcher in the W position. I need more weight from somewhere. I think that's where I get the additional weight from. That would take eight months to build, so that would knock Melampus out of action for eight months. I will leave Conquest in. And actually, if you can accelerate that so we can get her done more quickly, that would be excellent. Alright, so I will wait for Malta to work up before sending her in. Anything in Northern Europe right now? I think everything's deployed or is about to be deployed where it needs to be. Although I think I will activate Andromeda just in case I do need to fight something in Northern Europe. But yeah, the US is blockaded, Japan is helping, and I have superiority in the Caribbean. Um, I'll accept that. Coastal rate is suicide. Okay, Arc Royal is commissioned. Sunka Destroyer, we lost a sub. Damage CL, we lose a Corvette. Renown is damaged. Three enemy subs sunk. Get down a new CVL. Uh, US has commissioned a new CV. Not now. 
yeah, CV7 in service. Is that a big one or a small one? Uh, that's a smaller one. Um... I think I gotta bring research down like 6% just so I have enough, you know, enough money. Um, I also probably really do have to think about um, trying to pull off an invasion of the Dominican Republic. Um, I guess the question is, will I have enough money to do so? Maybe if I halt um, Charger and Dasher. Yeah, okay, I think I can manage this. Okay. Next turn. Cruiser action off the Dominican Republic. So I'm gonna have, they're gonna have air bases near, I'm gonna have air bases near. They don't have as much. Unexpected battle off the southeastern seaboard. Oh god. So I'm I would say I'm vaguely within range of their stuff, but I can actually move down kinda south if need be. Alright, here's the big battle. I've got the carriers Furious Audacious, Indefectible, as well as the CVL Vengeance, um, CV Gibraltar, and uh, CV Unicorn. Um, which means I do have my four good CVs. I, CVL, I don't exactly like having. I would have rather had something else. But, oh well. I might try to redeploy Vengeance into the Caribbean. So, um, we got the battlecruisers escorting here. So, battleship Royal Sovereign. That's battleship Royal Sovereign and battlecruiser Australia escorting the carriers. And then over here in the battlecruiser group, I have uh, only in constant and illustrious the older battlecruisers as well as, um, Three CAs, although Europa, Ariadne, and Cressy are pretty, pretty darn good CAs. Okay. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have probably Indefactible and Vengeance provide cap for this division. Um... These guys will probably turn this way. The wind is going... Uh, the wind's blowing this way, so the carriers are going to run to the south, which is good. Because apparently the airfields around Florida are not spawning in. Um, little little issue with the game. I wonder... I, I don't think that'll be fixed in uh, 3, but, you know, one can hope. I haven't played it yet. <laughs> um, Goddamn, what am I, what am I trying to do? Right, this. No, wait, no. No, no, no. I want you to provide cap to, um... Be seen constant. And also, any land-based cap which can fly, go over this division, but, like, you know... There's no... There's no land-based cap. I'm wanting to fight a battle like here. Give me a battle off of Maine. That's where I will start winning. Um, I think I try to move the carriers this way. So if they move this way and then launch aircraft going this way, they'll kind of go in this path. Um, okay. Let's ready up what we can. So... Just do a coordinated strike. Dive bombers should be on heavy. And then... Yeah, Furious will get some fighters ready on light. Furious is... Oh man, Furious's squadrons are not... 
greatest right now. Audacious' squadrons are a little bit better filled. Um, take a set of seven fighters. So, yeah, torpedoes should be there. Um, I'll put this one... Yeah, I'll put the... Cricklades on heavy? Oh god. Um, stop it. Stop it. I'm losing control of the game. I'm losing control of the game. Um, so let's say that I target here. Let's say I suspect they're there. That's 126 nautical miles. So I will put both, both bombers on heavy. I'm going to say ready the strike. So Vengeance only has dive bombers. Um, these will be on heavy. You do have a set of fighters. Um, only going to send in like four. Uh, get an indefatigable strike package ready. I will send in a group of fighters, but only like six so that you can still have some good escort over your, or some good protection over yourself. And then the remaining carrier division, uh, Unicorn, ready all of those, only going to get like uh, six fighters going. And that'll just be to provide a little bit of extra protection. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Scouting angles are that way. Scouting angles are that way. So they might be up here-ish somewhere. Actually, I'm going to move you at 28 knots this way. Okay. When are we going to get a report? I need a report. Got something over here. Interesting. Enemy CV spotted. Okay, so this is more torpedo bombers, so you're going to go after BBs over here. So they're kind of going this way-ish. Um, King of the Wind would be this way. I'm going to launch there. I'm going to launch like here. Right? You are a uh, anti-carrier attack group. Um, that would be an anti-carrier attack group as well. I'll aim you a little bit over there. Um, vengeances would also be anti-aircraft carrier. The other carrier division. Uh, actually, I'll have unicorn or unicorn strike also target CVs there, and then um, this will target BBs, roughly. Just in case they're a little bit closer, I'll launch that there. All right. So I'm going to say heavy cap is prioritized now and uh, bring the search arcs more left and decrease the distance. All right. I'm going to request heavy cap on both units. Uh, 
Um, try to regroup. Strike's taking off. You see if you can kind of, um, actually no, see if you can go this way. Alright, my strikes are underway. Enemy cap attacks a uh, scout plane of mine. I'm going to increase to maximum cap now. What? Sail kind of this way, actually. I want to keep them in range. Yep, there we go. We've been spotted. Okay, enemy fighters are attacking our dive bombers. Our friendly dive bombers shooting them down. What happened last turn? We cap attack our fighters. So our sea mews are doing oh, pretty good, actually. Yeah, they're shoot damaging and shooting down a lot of our dive bombers. We are dive bombing a CVL. CV bomb hit. Nice. Man, the audio is kind of quiet. It's quiet for me, it's probably quiet for you, but like, it's really always two audio. Do you really want to hear it that much? Um. Yeah. Okay. Dive bombers are not really doing much. It looks like unicorn, unicorn's formation is in. Ah, yeah, their aircraft. Yeah, their anti-aircraft is doing well. Oh, fucking Christ! They got a bomb through. So our, mm. yeah, they got an 800-pound bomb through. Okay. Yeah, we need to run. We need to run. You guys need to provide some extra distraction if possible. So... Yeah. I went to maximum cap and it's not helping. CL bomb hit over here. TR bomb hit, not sure what that is. CVL bomb hit, great. Two destroyer bomb hits, it looks like um, they're still trying to bomb us. BB bomb hit, okay, cool. Di it's mostly our dive bombers arriving right now. Oh hey, we hit something with a torpedo, nice. More bomb hits on a destroyer. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we hit something with a torpedo. Excellent. Two things with torpedoes. Great. Could this be that BC? It is that BC. Okay, we managed to hit a BC with a torpedo, I believe. Is it a CVL with the other one? No, it's not. It's something else. Okay, nice. We are hitting. St we are hitting stuff with torpedoes. Okay, we're damaging. Uh, our cap looks like it is engaging enemy uh, sea mews, which have attacked the formation. So what is the state on uh, CV Gibraltar? Yeah, she's just not joined up with us for some reason. Yes, start sailing south. We need to get some more AA cover on her. Oh, yep, that's a that's a dead destroyer, and that is a that's a Morris. It's not super bad. Okay, so our fighters are strafing stuff.
Hey, yep. Oh, air combat. God damn it. Yeah, they did. They did get escorts up. Okay, fighters. Blenheims are attacking on cap. The medium bombers are trying stuff. Okay. Oh, let's let's look at the air formations. How bad is it in terms of you know what got attacked? So okay, damage destroyed on you know all these bases. Our air bases really don't matter. So CV Furious. Um, so TBs from Furious. There's two which are okay, four which are damaged. So those were ones we didn't launch. Um, yeah, three one and then another two zero. So that's basically stuff which just didn't get launched. So this was the um. So this is a cap, so this was what was hovering over us. Um, we lost a Blenheim. But the rest are okay. This Torpedo Bomber Squadron 6 are damaged, 1 is shot down. So we've lost a Torpedo Bomber there. That fighters, the escorting fighters are okay. Um, Furious's Dive Bombers have taken 1 loss and 2 loss, as well as a bunch damaged. Those are additional cap from Furious, and the rest of the cap seems okay. Um... Audacious, so that fight, so those fighters are damaged. Um, the dive, okay, those, those are unready dive bombers, really, on board the ship. Um, those fighters should probably be put in the air soon because I did order maximum cap. Um, so, Audacious lost three dive bombers. In that attack, um, those ones are still returning. Uh, escorting fighters are okay. Lost three torpedo bombers too. Rest of her cap is fine. So, uh, indefatigable. Um, so those were unready. These are just kind of the unready planes. What's currently on the ship. Um, the DV Vickers Cricklade Mark One. Um, so these are returning. Uh, three of them were shot down. Three of her torpedo bombers were also shot down. Lost a fighter on cap. Um, Ven oh, Vengeance's escort fighters got mauled. Oh god, um, Vengeance's dive bombers got mauled. So Vengeance's attack was that first one which got in. Um, at this point, I would actively say that Vengeance is not a capable strike unit anymore. Um, Vengeance will be on full cap at this point. In terms of Unicorn, um, so these are the unready aircraft on Unicorn. Uh, ooh, Unicorn lost five torpedo bombers in that attack and two dive bombers. That hurts. Uh, Especially the five torpedo bombers. Um, her escorting fighters seem to have been doing well. Their cap's doing okay. The Gibraltar... Um... Okay, so that that's unready. Unready, unready. So those fighters are... Those cap fighters are landing. That's just what's unready. Or, that's not only what's unready, um... We have lost a number of unready aircraft in the ship from that to 800 pound bomb. So that actually looks like it hit our, you know, a few fighters, which is not good. Um, our returning naval strike has lost two torpedo bombers, a dive, okay, five torpedo bombers and a dive bomber. Um, and then a fighter, and it looks like she's also lost another fighter there. Uh, anything else here? Not really. Just some uh, float plane scouts. So yeah, DD Mons is sinking. That was to be predicted. We probably got an enemy destroyer ourselves.
Okay, so I'm going to see if I can kind of move Furious a little bit this way. Maybe when you're not recovering aircraft, move it like 25 knots. Okay, so which way are you moving when you're needing to do aircraft recovery? Okay. We're shooting down incoming torpedo bombers, it looks like. Are we having to turn this way? I'm trying to tell. Okay, so I think most of our stuff's arrived, but there are enemy aircraft on radar. Enemy fighter shoots down cap. God damn it. Okay, yeah, now our cap's really shooting them down. Okay. Um... So Furious can right now get this ready. Um, and actually, I think with um, Furious, I am just going to provide those fighters as a tiny escort. Um, Vengeance will not be launching again. Yeah, it's only providing me like three escorting fighters, but I think that'll be enough. Um, or hopefully should be enough. Okay, Gibraltar. Okay. Carriers are readying for another strike. Yes. 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 Okay, air formations are ready. I'll wait a few turns for everything to ready up. There we go. All right. So last report was last reports were in this area. Um, what's the most recent one? And is there anything else interesting we were seeing? So two destroyers over there. So those are transports. So. In terms of time, I think, yeah, that would be the most recent. So they were last seen going this way. So they're kind of in this area. Um, I'm really unsure as to where they are right now. Might be over, I mean, maybe going this way. It's that report. Up that way. I think they're here. I think, oh. Uh, it's saying roughly here. So, um... Actually, I think right now it is just priority target any CVs they have. over here. Oh wait, hold on. No, no, no. This is like, this should be two separate strikes. Hold on. Um, I'll do one there and then do one like here. So I feel like coordinating with uh, lone carriers is just going to be better. Alright, so I'm going to try to slip my carriers around more to this... Oh, hold on, no, that's that's an incoming torpedo bomber strike. Um, carriers run away, kind of get the battleships in between. Should 
If you can head this way, that would be nice right now. Yep, there we go. Fighters are shooting down the incoming torpedo bombers. Looks like that that was effective. Okay. Okay, strikes are outgoing. I um, actually want to try to get closer again. Cap is shooting down, or engaging dive bombers. So we lost, we did, you know, damaged Blenheim, lost a Blenheim, but it looks like we are shooting down some of the incoming dive bombers. Yes. Okay, yep, there we go. Oh, they just got mulched. Excellent job, Cap! <laughs> okay. Blenheims are doing a great job. I am I am happy with the, their performance. I know that we are just recovering aircraft right now. Actually, I probably want you to move up this way if at all possible. Okay, um... Dive bombing... We found him. It's like uh, enemy... Enemy fighters are shooting down some of our planes, unfortunately. Any hits? No hits. Air combat. CB bomb hit. Yes! That's excellent. So we found their CBs. Um, TR bomb hit. Not sure where that is. Could, that could be an AV. CVL bomb hits, two of them right there. Okay, so our cap is trying to deal with a uh, group of patrol bombers. Looks like. Um, we've shot down, we're damaging and shooting down the patrol bombers, so hopefully that should make it easier. Couple bomb hits on a BB. Oh good. So they level bombed North Star and uh, all of them got shot down. Good. Okay, cool. Remaining strike is getting in. Didn't do much. Okay, so they launched torpedoes over there at Cressy. Um, that's a lot of stuff. Actually, you know what? The run is just going to be south now. Just run, run south, run south, run south, full speed. Fighters are shooting down enemy craft incoming. There we go. Oh, three CV bomb hits up near Charleston. And two on... That's the same ship. Two... Fires two light anti-aircraft... What have you... What have you bombed? What have you bombed here? So... You're reporting this as dive bombing an enemy destroyer and dive bombing an enemy carrier. That's what you've radioed to me with. And you've reportedly scored five bomb hits, so good on you for that. But 
There's no heavy anti-aircraft on this ship. There's no medium anti-aircraft on this ship. There are two light anti-aircraft guns on this ship. I think you have bombed a merchant. I don't think you have bombed either of those things. Maybe a patrol boat. Whatever you have bombed, it is not a CV. Maybe it is a destroyer. It's not a CV. It's probably not a destroyer. Like, a destroyer probably has better anti-aircraft than this. You have probably just bombed a transport or a corvette. Yeah, there we go. See? Corvette, destroyer. That is probably what that is. I mean, I think you have sunk whatever it is. Like, even if those were misses, you've sunk whatever that is. Yeah, I think the current play right now is to just run the fuck away. Run out of range. So last we saw, reportedly... Stuff down here. Okay, so those are enemy carriers. I don't really have anything good to strike with anymore. I think the goal right now is to, um... Accept, um... Accept losses and get the fuck out of here. Okay, so we're shooting down enemy torpedo bombers incoming. Which is great. Just trying to deal as much uh, damage as possible. I do not have high confidence in my battlecruisers being able to fight the enemy battlecruisers. And Constant and Illustrious are not as good as, you know, pretty much any American battlecruiser. Um, if that was something where I was throwing Australia and Royal Sovereign at them, I think I'd have a really good shot. Um, but just not really without that. Okay, we do have some dive bombers on Audacious. Don't, hmm. I don't think we have enough for another coordinated strike, but I'm not, you know, if we're targeting, like, you know, their CVs are probably trying to go this way, but then they kind of, so they do this sort of thing, then they'll probably do this sort of thing. So if I launch a dive bomber strike there, I might be able to get a hit. Um, same with you. I'm going to say, actually, you know, 28 knots, um, I want you to move this way, normally. Anything else ready to go? No, it's just those dive bombers. Just launch it there. Yeah, no, launch it there. That's good enough. Yes, yes, actually, yes. Catapult launch search planes. And if you can, like, figure out a way to go up there, that would be really helpful right now. Actually, you know what? I want you to go north when possible. Just, um... You know... Actually, hold on. What's our scout range? Yeah, we should be scouting out further. And the reason I kind of want my carriers to keep moving north is so that it makes it easier for the planes eventually land so yeah your your ideal direction is course four you can switch onto it at some point my guess is that they're going to kind of keep doing this wavy pattern they're doing right now it looks like my dive bombers didn't find anything okay yeah they're returning all right, so normally you position over the night to uh, just get a better, better shot on the enemy. Um, I 
I look at what we have right now... I'm not sure that's the smart move. I think the move is just to disengage. Um... I think the move is to disengage at probably cruise speed to the south. Yeah, some of my ships have like less than 20% fuel remaining. There's no incentive to keep this fight up. I should have done this. I probably should have, you know, used land-based air to uh, try to suppress enemy air bases. So, you know, get some damage in on Boston or something. You know what? Go at cruise speed. Um, I think your goal right now is just slip outside this range. Although slipping outside these ranges is still good. It's just a destroyer, so it's nothing too terrible. But yeah, our ships are running out of fuel. Although actually... No, that's medium bomber range right there. So they would still have the, me the range to hit us. And this is like really an abusive game mechanics here too. Yeah, screw it. Send search planes up. I, I really, really, re really don't think that um, you're going to be able to do much. Um, Here's what. Send, get those search arcs as far as possible. Because if you happen to spot them and can launch on them, Bermuda, that would be great, but I highly doubt that you'll be able to. And uh, my ships are just going to sneak out of uh, enemy aircraft range on maximum cap. I don't, I don't think the Americans are out anymore. I think they've gone, probably gone into port. But they have just enough other little stuff out. So we lost a destroyer. I think we definitely sank an enemy destroyer. Definitely sank probably an enemy corvette or another destroyer. Um, and damaged CVs. We have one CV lightly damaged. Um, overall, not terrible. Could have been better. Um, I think there are deficiencies with the fight or with our fighter, probably. Sank a CV. We sank a CV, yes! And heavily damaged CVLs. Okay, that was better than I expected. Um, and air details massive did favor us. Did favor us. Oh, God, they're air-to-air -air losses. Never mind. Fighter's doing well. Um, yeah. So, let's. I'll go air details. No, let's go ship details first. So, we sank the CV hand... Did we get... We got one of the 92 aircraft TVs! That's like... Of all of the enemy carriers we could have sunk, that was one of the best two. She was deployed, and she got sunk. That is excellent. And we heavily damaged, um, Croyton. Did medium damage to Bogue, and yeah. So we lost the destroyer Mons. We sank a Corvette. So we didn't actually sink any destroyers. Wow. Um. Good job on Hancock. So what happened there? Torpedo from uh, Rock Mark 1 from Indefatigable first, and then um, 2,000 pound bomb hits from Cricklade Mark 1s from Gibraltar, or CV Gibraltar, and um, machinery fire started, and then a conflagration starts amongst field aircraft, so that got her, yeah. So she was on fire level 6, fire reduced by damage control, then her field aircraft explodes, then the fire just keeps spreading, and eventually it's raging out of control. 
Croiton took a torpedo from uh, Rock Mark One from Furious, so good job. Um, Road Island. So this is enemy uh, enemy battle or battleship takes a torpedo from a uh, Rock Mark One from CV Gibraltar and a thousand pound dud bomb hit from CV Gibraltar. So Bogue. Took a 1,400-pound dud bomb hit from... Uh, unicorn. God damn it, if that had been a non-dud. It did start a fire and destroyed aircraft. But yeah, if that had not been a dud... Oh, God. Torpedo, rudder damaged. Um, she does get the fire under control and managed to survive the engagement. Frederick takes a 1,400-pound bomb hit to the engine room and has uh, flooding. I will say, I'm noticing a high amount of dud rates in my bombs. Hmm. I, uh, I wonder... So CVL Bogue got the torpedo in on Mons. Gibraltar took an 800-pound bomb hit. That was uh, Maryland from Hancock, so glad we got revenge for that. But it wasn't really particularly bad. <laughs> Corvette City of Memphis. So this this was the one we were reporting as a carrier. Good job. Good, good job. She takes two 1,000-pound bomb hits and a 1,000-pound near miss, though. Um, seal Tacoma, light damage. We got a 1,400-pound bomb into a turret, which disabled it. And, uh, Destroyer Cummings took a 1,000-pound near miss. We'll kind of scroll down and just see what other ships were deployed. So it looks like that Destroyer rescued survivors. So they had Entitum and, uh, Saratoga as their other two CVs. So we got we got the most important ship we could have sunk in this battle. Um, yeah, so they had those uh, battleships out, and then if we go air details, um, so who gets what? Okay, so these are just fighters from naval air stations and ops losses. Douglas Wildcat patrol bombers get two kills. Um, okay, so there are the fighter squadrons on Furious with 17 and 15 kills. Holy crap, that is one battle. Oh my god, my fighters worked overtime. So um, dive bombers from Audacious scored five bomb hits from the 1803rd Squadron, and then one bomb hit from the 1804th. Um, two torpedo hits were scored by the um, 18 or the 818 Squadron from Furious. We get to Indefatigable. Um, the 82 or the 822 gets a torpedo hit. Then the, the 20 gets 5, gets some more aircraft shot down. 6 bomb hits from the 1808 squadron and 1 torpedo. Although some of those might have been near misses. Bogue, yeah, Bogue gets that torpedo hit, and uh, Hancock gets the bomb hit. Um, I'm actually really curious, are there like other US you know, destroyers or CLs that took anything? Probably not. Um, so who actually hit Hancock again? So that would be Gibraltar. So Hancock and Gibraltar, you know, shot each other. So if I'm looking at Gibraltar squadrons, which one likely got the kill? Okay, that would be the 1808 squadron. 1808. Um, the Royal Raiders, I'm going to put in uh, Hancock as a kill for them. That's pretty. That's pretty much a confirmed kill. Um, so yeah, if we look at air details, um, actually, I wanna I wanna quickly. Just um. Hold on. It's uh. This yeah, I'm gonna do a little snip here, a little snip tool of like this. I know it is saved to clipboard. I am literally posting this in the um, battle results screen in the Real the Waves Discord. And then do a quick alt print screen. Uh, 
So, let's see. So, my total fighter losses were 58, or my total aircraft losses, 58 fighters, 34 torpedo bombers, 38 dive bombers, 7 medium bombers, 8 float plane scouts, didn't lose any patrol bombers, so 145. Their total losses, 103 fighters, 37 torpedo bombers, 74 dive bombers, 12 medium bombers, 2 float plane scouts, and 17 patrol bombers. Um, 245. So, my fighters, one was lost to anti-aircraft fire, I think that was well strafing. Um, 25 were lost to air-to-air -air combat, 3 to operational losses, and then 3 when the bomb struck Gibraltar. Um, if we're looking at enemy fighters, um, none were lost to anti-aircraft fire. 40 to anti-air or air-to-air -air losses. Good job! Good job! Blenheim Mark 1s are still pulling their weight compared to what the U.S. has. Um, 33 were operational losses, and then 30 of those you know, probably largely sank on Hancock or got destroyed on the two CVLs. Uh, torpedo bomber-wise, uh, 21 were lost to anti-aircraft fire, 5 to air-to-air, to air, um, 7 to ops, and then 1 on a sh or one on Gibraltar. Um, enemy lost 37 torpedo bombers. Uh, two of these were to anti-aircraft fire. So, enemy anti-aircraft fire was doing really well, and that's probably because um, they're going to have a lot more heavy anti-aircraft than me. That's probably what was doing it against the torpedo bombers. Um, 28 to air to... Or 28 air to air. Actually, no, that's what did it. The torpedo bombers were struggling to get through the aircraft. So, yeah, the aircraft just kind of mulched their torpedo bombers before they could even get into range of the anti-air fire. Four ops losses and then three on one of their ships. Dive bombers... Or dive bomber-wise, um, 74... Total losses, none to air to air fire, so our you know, anti air fire was not effective against enemy dive bombers. On the other hand, our aircraft shot down forty nine of them. <laughs> um one ops loss and twenty four on ground ship. I would not be surprised if we have an ace. <laughs> like this battle might have produced th this battle could have produced an ace in a day. Like it's fucking possible. It it's goddamn possible that a pilot became an ace today. Yeah, one ops loss and 24 on probably Hancock getting sunk or, you know, the CBLs being damaged. Medium bombers, total losses 12, 2 to AA fire, um, 8 to air-to-air, -air, and uh, 2 to ops losses. I'm only looking at the enemy right now. I'll look at mine in a moment. So our air-to-air -air did well against those Philippine scouts. Um, just two ops losses for them. And, yeah. And uh, for patrol boats, or patrol bombers, um... 10 to air to air and then 7 to ops. On our side, uh, looks like we had 5 float plane scout op losses and then 3 air to air, so our float plane scouts were being shot down by enemy aircraft. Um, 7 total medium bomber losses, all to ops, and um, our, okay, our torpedo bombers got mulched by AA. Our dive bombers got a little bit mulched by AA, but a little bit more by a aircraft. You know, we lost 18 to air to air losses and, you know, 16 AA, and then 4 ops. But, you know, that's a good battle. That is that is a battle I will very much accept. And, uh, you know, that's a kill, too. That's the most dangerous enemy carrier knocked out. Okay, um... Hey, what was down there? That was a, oh, that was a coastal battery. Did they ha still have anything out at the end? Yes, they did. Their uh, forces were up here. So if I actually look at where their flagships were. So we were over here. Well, they actually had a couple ships over here. So that was a crippled CVL. Um, yeah, our forces start up over here. They kind of tried to merge. The carriers kind of tried to do this. And then they kind of get stuck doing this. And... Um, you know, then I just kind of do this uh, big run to the south. I'm trying to kind of hold here. Well, so I'm ordering them to go north, but because of maximum cap, they're continuously moving south. So they're kind of holding distance. So it looks like, you know, the enemy forces... So yeah, they were kind of doing this swing move over here. Got caught in the co coast and then did this. If I look at big ships... So the reports of carriers down a little bit to the south, those were false, it looks like. Those were not that legitimate. 
So they were up higher, so I sent my dive bombers to the wrong location. I could have got, potentially gotten additional hits if I had sent them a little bit north. Um, then they get caught along the coast and go this way. Alright. Yeah, leave scenario. British Minor Victory gain one prestige point. Battle of Charleston, I will take that. Let me name that. Maiden has Condenser Trouble, Argus has Finisher Reconstruction. Several well-known aces, the Elite 1709 Squadron has scored a total of 16 air victories in one battle. Probably not several well-known aces. Crush them completely? Oh, we win. Um, hello there, Dominican Republic. Okay, that was a quick war. Um, yeah. Good, good job. <laughs> we go out, we get two battles in, and we win. We take the Dominican Republic. America's just like, yeah, we don't, we don't want a part of this anymore. We get lost. Does, barely even lasts. So, yeah, um, I guess that's it. Uh, I will see you next time, then. Uh, links to my Discord, Twitch, and Twitter are down below if you're interested in those things. All right, bye! And remember, uh, rule the waves three. Yes, bye.